Ah, okay, should be in a second. Okay. Welcome to another Enjoying Art demonstration with watercolor painting this girl. Okay, if you are already a member, you already have downloaded this reference from our Patreon's site. Okay, uh, we're going to start from the drawing. And that's good. Yes, yeah, something, some noises in the background. Uh, so, okay, that's good. It's quiet. Okay, this is great. So we're going to start from pencil drawing. Talk about the proportion, talk about the drawing of a face. And then we're going to start a watercolor painting all the way to the end. And by the end of these demonstrations, if any members with me, uh, on Zoom, I'm going to look at your painting. I'm going to give you feedbacks. Okay. If you have any questions, uh, please ask during this process, or you can hold your questions at the end of this process. Okay. Let's start. The first thing we're going to talk about, and if you never heard about Enjoying Art or you never stopped by our website, please take a look. Uh, learn about who we are, what we do. Just go to enjoyingart.com. Just take a look at this website, okay? And take a look at where's going to be the chin, okay? That would be the first decision you have to make. And you can see that is from the eye, almost like at the top to the eye, the eye to the chin, and the chin to the bottom. You can see that it's divided into three. It can be that way. So, all right, I'm going to say the chin will be here. Okay, but I'm going to also include the, the chick, the bird over here on the shoulder. So I need to decide on where exactly this whole little oval shape would be. Okay, just draw with the pencil. Don't look at inside of the face. Just roughly draw the shape like that. This is very important first step. You only focus on what you need to uh, find out okay other things you can you can wait okay now i'm gonna take a look at is there space for the little bird okay all right i'm gonna draw that size roughly just need to find out how big is this bird all right right over here is that the right size or should be bigger should be smaller okay you see that i don't draw the mouth the eye because that's not the step it's not yet we're going to take a look at the biggest proportion, okay? Here we go, like that. And then the neck will be here, and then the shoulder coming down. So if you want the face a little bit smaller and have a little bit more of the body, you can uh, move the chin a little bit higher at this point. So it's very important, stay one step at a time. Don't rush, because this is very important. This going to be the define how your final painting will look. Okay, this is the biggest composition. Now I'm going to draw a little bit more. Okay, if I'm going to stay like this, this will be top of her shirt. Okay, and like that. It's, and then I'm going to evaluate. Is this is what I want? Okay, I want the face a little bit bigger, definitely. And my paper is small, it's only 10 by 7.5. Okay, and I'm going to think about that. And do I want to move forward from here? Or should I want to make some changes? And I'm going to take a look a little bit more about if the ear, if the face over here, the ear would be here about. And, and then the back of the hair would be here. And okay. Let me give it a second to think about it. I think I want this composition. If your answer is no, I want to make some changes, you have to do it right now, okay, not later. Okay, this is good. I'm going to have the hair at the top over here, like that. And then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to make sure the proportion be between the width 
of the face compared to the height of the face, it is proper. Okay, now I'm going to do a little simple measurement. I want to find out that from the eye, okay, to the chin, it goes to whether or not it goes to the width of the face from the left side to the inside of the ear. I'm going to find out. And let's take a look. I'm going to move forward to, I'm going to start from the eyebrow. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the left to the right. Oh, wow. It actually much, much wider the side of the ear. Okay, and then I'm going to take a look at and like this, the left side to the, the width of the eye and okay this is very interesting and the width over here from the left side to the right side of the eye we can find and it goes to from the chin to the bottom of the eye I can use that or I'm going to do a little bit more okay I'm going to take a look at the width from here to the inside of the ear it goes to what is this the proportion of the height. I'm going to take a look and hmm that's very interesting. That is almost a little bit lower than the hairline. If I'm going to from the left over here to here so I'm going to set the mark over here from here to the right side the outside of the ear right here. It actually it goes to the hairline a little bit lower than the hairline. Now I'm going to take a look at over here. Here you go. I'm going to take that. I'm going to rotate it. So here you go. If I'm going to put it over there, the little bit lower than the hairline. The hairline is right here. Just a little bit lower. So from here to the chin, actually we can divide the whole face into three. And actually right about over here, from here, and this is from my measurement. From here to the chin, I'm going to divide into three. So I'm going to use my hand to help. So I'm going to do that right here. That's the eyebrow. And this is the nose. You can see that that's just one, two, three, the eyebrow and the hairline up over here. And that would be the proper proportion. The first step is very, very crucial, very important. Now I'm going to take a look at the angle. I think this side a little bit higher, the other side a little bit lower. All right, I'm going to draw a little bit slanted line like this. Okay, this is good. And the proportion is very important. We are in the middle of uh, the semester learning classical training. And in the future, we might run this class again, but the class is only open to members. So take a look at enjoyingart.com homepage to see anything that have been offered for the next semester, for the fall semester. Now double check again, one, two, three. And from here to here, it goes to from here all the way up here, just a little bit lower than the hairline. Okay, this is good. Now we are we knowing the nose. I think the nose is a little bit higher because the chin a little bit more. Uh, but just comparing, there's two different areas uh, because uh, uh, she's smiling. Okay, like that. This is good. Now we uh, take a look at the width. So we see the ear is about right here, like this kind of size. And take a look at that. And then take a look at from the left side to the right side. We're going to find the center point. I think the eye over here is right at the center. So leave the side over here. Uh, we're going to draw the sideburn. From the sideburn to the eye, it's a little bit more than one eye. So that means like we're going to say where's the middle. I'm going to take a look at where's the middle point. From the middle of the ear. And actually the whole eye is right in the middle. So I'm going to say this is the middle of the whole width over here. From here to here. 
And so I'm gonna draw a little shape of the eye right over here. I'm gonna take a look, and this side a little bit more than an eye. And take a look at on this side, and this is almost, the space between the two eyes is almost like a one eye space. Now I'm gonna put a little, the one eye space over here. That's one eye space over here. And that's a little bit more than one eye. And now the eye is right in, in the middle of the width over here, okay? So if this is a little bit confusing to you, and uh, I hope that you will spend more time practicing uh, the proportion and the measurement, okay? Okay, now we find some very crucial information. That is where vertically, uh, we already know the width, uh, I mean the height of the three proportion. And the width, we all now just find out where are the eyes, okay? This is great. Now I'm gonna take a look at the nose, almost like a from here coming down straight. That is the main part of the nose. And take a look over here, and the width of the nose over here is just a little bit off to the right side of the eye if you draw a vertical line, okay? You can see that very quickly after some practice. And I'm gonna add a little bit on the outside, on the left-hand side, like that. Now we find the location of the nose. Also, you can double check with the, draw the triangle, okay? Uh, that's the triangle and then to the tip of the nose. So you can see whether or not they are in the right place. And take a look, and there's the shadow over here. You don't have to draw shading the, um, the face, because we are going to, uh, we're going to paint. So just take a look at comparing the little shadow over here compared to this shadow, this shape. And then take a look at also this probably come in a little bit, okay? Just double check on it before we move forward to the next step. Okay, and the nose over here can come out a little bit more, like that. Okay, I'm gonna soften that a little bit and we're gonna continue, figure it out. And let's take a look at from the nostril. Now we know the nostril, right? The bottom of the nose. Take a look at the nostril to the chin. Where is this right in the middle? I think the lower border of the lower lip of the mouth, it actually is right in the middle. So focus on one thing at a time, okay? Don't rush. And from here to here, and then we're going to set the middle, right there, right? See that from here to here, it goes to from here to the bottom. And if that is just right, and we're gonna take a look at the corner of here, that's corner of the mouth, right over there, and also this is right on the left one third of the eye. You can use the already find out, already known location to uh, compare what the thing to find out what is this, the thing we are going to find out, right? Which is the corner of the mouth. It's right in the middle of the eye coming down. Okay, that's just good. And also from the nostril to this line, we can divide into a half, and that, this is the shape of the mouth, like that. That's almost like a leaf shape, okay? That's that, this is good, right over here. Okay, draw slowly, and find out. This could take uh, 15 minutes, could take half hours, could take two hours, depends on what stage uh, you're uh, learning. So take your time. So don't rush. If you rush it, it's not gonna be good, right? And making sure you're comfortable with what you discover. Okay, I think this can be a little bit higher, like that. So there's this nice smiling. Okay, here you go. Like that. And you also see there is a center line from here coming down. If you want to draw the center line, and right coming through and to the chin. And the chin is going a little bit toward the right side because the center line over here coming down a little curve and coming right there, right from the top. Okay, so that means now I'm going to draw the 
uh, contour of the face. Now I'm gonna come in over here and then that come out a little bit. Here you go. Now take a look at the face here and take a look over here. They come out slightly, come out a little bit. A little curve coming in. You see that? And after you have the, uh, the nose, the mouth, and drawing in the outside shape, it's just much easier because you can relay that too. But making sure inside the shape over here is, is correct. If the inside shape is not correct, that is going to be a trouble for us to make a decision based on the inside, right? This is good. Now I'm going to come in up a little bit over here on the side of the forehead. Okay, here you go. This is good. Now I'm going to come in over here, take a look. And let's compare the eyebrows and compare with the tip of the, the top of the ear. The top of the ear a little bit lower, just a little bit higher than the eyebrow. This is good. What about the bottom? The bottom is right over here. Draw a little curve line and that's the bottom of the ear. So they're a little bit lower than that. That's good. Like right over here. Well, that's good. And now we're already getting lots of, lots of uh, information. It would be helpful for us to start the painting, right? And this is good. And if you have any questions, or if you are on YouTube, you can just write down your questions or comments, and I will try to answer your, and after the, I finish the demonstration. Okay, I take a look inside the E over here and there's a little shape over here. You don't have to find all those informations right now. You can find out when we get to it. Okay, so no worry. I'm going to take a look at the back over here, the here, coming the curve line coming up right over there. Okay, and then some of the hair like that and some little shade Okay, this is good. And take a look at where are the hairline. I think the hairline is right here. Uh, she have a little bit longer uh, forehead because her face turning down a little bit like that. This is good, right? And don't worry about the hair uh, on the forehead. We take care of that. We have the calligraphy brush and we can identify it and create the suggestions a little bit later. And this is good. Now we're going to come back over here, take a look at where's the neck. The neck is right in the middle. Okay, right here. There you go. Right here, coming out a little bit. That's good. And this can be a little bit higher. Here you go. And coming over. That's great. And there's a necklace. We're going to paint that after the latest step. Okay, coming over here. This is good. And then we take a look at the bird. The bird can come in a little bit more. Okay. And take a look at the proportion. All right from the E over here coming down. That's just the left side of the bird. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna come in over here. Here you go. Now take a look at, you can use also angular line from the E over here coming this angle. And that's the right side. And for the members in the middle of the, uh, uh, classical training and you understand exactly those techniques and how we how we use that to create our the definitions okay the lick right here like that that's good all right we almost finished the drawing okay take a look at right in the middle over here like off this shape you see that little curve like a little ball shape and then right here, that's just the head. I'm gonna draw the mouth, the beak right over here, and then draw a little eye, and a little eye over here, okay? I draw in the same time, and our, you might want to be part of our community because we are, uh, the purpose of our community to help us to become the best we can be in the shortest time possible. Okay, here you go. Coming to the front over here. I think the cheek is pretty good already. And then look, look at the face. If the face is too small, 
we're gonna compare to the width of the whole uh, bird. I think the head is a little bit too small. I'm gonna have this a little bit lower, okay? Because the space between this is a little bit bigger. You can see that? It's a little bit bigger. You can see that right over here, like that. And then the eye need to be bigger too. Okay, here you go. So always pay full attention in every step as we are developing uh, the artwork. Okay, this is the eye, need to be right here. And this eye, right over here, and up here, that's good. Okay, that's good. You can see the mouth, the side of the mouth right over there. This is good, and like that. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's probably a little bit softer. And the top, okay. I think the cheek's pretty good. Now I'm gonna give a little bit more uh, work into the eyes before we start the painting. Okay, we're gonna redefine it a little bit more. We already know the location, so this is good. I'm gonna draw a little double eyelid. Okay, a little bit upper eyelid right over there. And here you go. And take a look over here and the corner of the inside of the eye. And also think about the angle uh, of this two eye. It's going down a little bit like this. So making sure it's going into the same angle. Okay, let's take a look. I think the inside over here, not so much in. I'm gonna clear that, making sure you are doing it right. And because some members on Zoom right now is following me doing the drawing and painting. That's the reason I'm using the graphite pencil to draw that with you together. And then if someone like drawing as much as the painting and what? Um, oh, uh, that's a, a very interesting question. Do I like drawing as much as I paint? Um, I, well, painting is, has different medium. And say watercolor is different from a little bit different from acrylic and acrylic different from oil painting and as well as different from the Eastern, like a Chinese traditional uh, ink painting. They're all different. They're all different medium, different form of art. And I like them all. And it's my, as the way I grew up and I, I like all of them. So between drawing and painting, yeah, I like a, a charcoal or I like graphite, I like uh, yesterday, you probably already seen that I published a little short video about how to uh, shade, right? I use that for charcoal demonstration for our class. And yes, the short answer would be I like all medium, I like all materials. So I have been doing art for more than 50 years. So it's been a long time. I like to do all. I like to experiment and I like to learn from each different medium to see how they would be or the technique can be used across different medium. Okay, as well as the process. And we have our own our art making process which is combine all different medium together. So our, if you have any questions Make sure you post it under the video and I'm going to come back to uh, respond to your question. Okay, that's just good. And a little bit in the middle over here, a little bit lower like that and coming wrap around like that. That's just good. All right, I think the, the ear a little bit, maybe a little bit too wide at the top. Just keep thinking about and checking and comparing. That's very important. And here you go, like that, and coming all the way down over here. Okay, and that's good, like that. So definitely drawing and making up your mind before you start the painting. 
which is uh, quite important for some people. Uh, but I like to paint as I am making all the different decisions. So I like to directly paint. And I'm going to also draw a little bit uh, shape for the earring. And then I'm going to try to ping around this shape. So I can uh, have reserved the light shape. Okay, here you go. Like that, this is good. All right, are you guys ready to paint? Let's take a one more look. I think this can come in a little bit. Uh, that's good. I'll come in a little bit right here. That's good. And this is good. And take a look at two corner. And this can be a little bit higher. A little bit like that as well. This is good. Wonderful. Okay. I think we capture the essence of this pose, this girl. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to start using the one inch fry brush. This brush actually helped me a lot, especially at the beginning of the painting process. Okay, where I'm going to start? I can start from the background, I can start from the face, I can start from everywhere I want. The first step is the important as we are going to create the harmony with different value and color. Okay, so where would you start is just fine. You can start from the background, you can start from the face, you can start from the bottom, you can start from the top. It's totally up to you. Um, hmm. How about let's set a little color. Okay, let's set a little color in the background. Okay, first. Okay, I'm gonna just put a little dark color by using the red and the blue color. I'm gonna set a little color like this. That's supposed to be very, very dark, right? So if you want to be a little bit more brown, and then you know you need to have a little bit yellow to it. So I'm going to take a little bit yellow color, okay. And the three colors together, it combine, it's become a brown color, okay. Of course, by different com combinations and different percentage of color, you can actually create all color we need. Okay, that's good. Now, I'm gonna have a little bit more water and just have a little color on the outside. It just use the dark color as a comparison to the color inside the face. Okay, take a look at it. Around over here, that's good. Like that, and that's good. All right, that's good. It looks like scary. It's not really that scary. I'm gonna use a little bit more water. I'm gonna use the corner of this brush, push that in. Okay, that's good. Okay, right outside over here. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna also put the color on on the right hand side. Okay, here you go. And sometimes we start from a little darker color, which is great. Okay, like that. And you can see the whole whole side over here is shadow. The shadow color actually have a little bit brown. So I'm gonna use a little bit red and coming over here, here you go. I can paint it into the shadow side. Okay, here you go, like that. And coming down over here, here you go. I'm gonna paint it around the little foot, little cheek. And then the shadow side over here, I can paint around that too. And that's just a little bit darker. It's important to see how the color actually all connected. Okay, that's just good. And that's all right, wonderful. And then also the arm over here. I'm gonna paint a little color on the arm here too. And all right, now we're gonna quickly uh, change to, like take a look at the face over here. Now it's gonna, become very hard edge. So I'm gonna just use the water, soften it, and putting that color in, and here you go. Now I'm gonna connect that color, extend it into the forehead, to the face area. Yeah. Using a larger brush really help to organize the large shape. 
And right now, all we need to do is to try to create the uh, color composition. It may be a little scared for to you, okay? <laughs> Lots of people, they feel kind of like, oh no, I'm gonna use a small, tiny, tiny brush. I'm just going to work it out one stroke at a time. Okay, you can do it that way, but uh, it will be less fun. I think that is take the risk. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna set this color for the skin tone. Okay, like that. And any color we have, it could be modified later on. Okay, now here you go. Now I'm gonna come to the forehead. And this is very much the color. And maybe have a little bit more red than yellow. Right now I have quite a bit of yellow. So you need to be able to see the compositions in the color. Okay, what color has that? How much is the yellow? How much the red? Okay, I'm gonna take a look on the, this side of the cheek. And I'm also gonna use just a little bit more red, just a little bit tiny, tiny red in the, above the cheek. And by the way, whatever color you put on, um, the paper may not dark enough because watercolor after you dry, it just appears to be lighter. So right now this is only the first round. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna take a look at down over here and painting around the highlight of the cheek like that. And we can soften that. I'm gonna put it that. You see that anything here is not actually as light as the highlight. You can take a look at on the nose. And that's just the highlight over there. So I'm gonna look at around the highlight. I'm gonna push that down a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's good. Okay, the little middle over here, keep that a little light. Now, take a look at the, the outside over here. This is good, have some texture. We can remove the texture very, very easily with the large brush after it dry. Okay, that's good. Now I'm gonna use a little red color. Keep going. Okay, you don't need a lot of lots of water because we don't really need that much color. Okay, take a look at right in here. See that? Be able to see the value of the color is very, very important. It's a part of the important training uh, as we are learning how to paint and draw. Okay, and then down over here, and we have some color. Now I'm gonna use the clean brush. There's no color here. I'm just going to use the soft brush. I'm just going to connect the color together. And a little child, skin tone is very soft. So that's why we try to have a little bit soft edges right now. But again, use this large brush. Later on, you will still can uh, soften uh, anything that, that we need to make it softer. Okay, on the left side over here, need to be a little bit lighter, like that. And also watercolor dries so quickly. And outside over here, almost dry. I give it a, a three or four minutes and it would dry. You see that I'm lifting the color over here. And all right, this is the foundation on the face. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start working into, back to the background as is the hair. Okay, we're not painting the, um, inside the face, like the eye, the nose, yeah. So those are considered details. We are gonna come back a little bit later. We're gonna focus on how the, the whole composition. I'm gonna use the yellow and the red and then get the blue color. This pleasant blue or winter blue uh, green shade. Okay, now you see that this is a very dark brown color. I'm gonna get a little bit blue. That's as good. Now I'm gonna paint it into the side. Okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna have this a little bit darker. I'm gonna get a little bit more red because I want it to be a little bit warmer. Here you go. Like that. That's good. Now coming in here. Now painting outside the ear. That's good. 
Okay, coming around the ear. Earlier, when we set the color to the ear, you may be thinking about, oh my God, the ear too dark. Okay, it's not really. You need to see that is how dark is the whole area in order to see the color, the, the shape inside of that shape. Okay, now when the painting around this earring like that, that's fine. Okay, coming in the inside over here, tap, tap on it. Okay, that's good. Right there. Okay, have a little big shape coming down over here. That's the hair. Okay, that's good. Like that. And now take a look at uh, up here over here. You can see that some very interesting texture has been created it as an accident. Okay, take a look here. Okay, like that. And a little bit here coming down like this. Okay, that's good. All right, now I'm going to uh, use the water, soften that a little bit. Have this coming in like that. So I'm gonna leave a little bit light gap in between. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have that and coming up over here. Okay, that's just good. I'm gonna lose that little light shape. So, okay, now the forehead looks like a quite big, but it's okay. And trust that it will be will be fine in the right proportion, okay. Okay, now I'm gonna come back to take a look at the background. I think the background need to be a uh, workout, a little bit wetter, a little bit more wet. And like that, I'm gonna have this going back into the background. I'm gonna take a look at the connection to the hair one more time. You can work on this multiple times. Okay, here you go. Okay, coming in a little bit. Okay, that's good. Okay. Now, coming down, use the large brush at the beginning of any painting, any subject matter. Okay, here you go. Okay, like that. I'm gonna come in here. Okay. All right. I think the, the cheek is about right. I think it's just good. Maybe come in here. Okay, that's good. Like this. Coming back over here again. Just use the tip. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly uh, make it feel like it's a little bit connection between this side and this side. I'm gonna have a little texture from the left to the right. Okay, very similar. Okay, I'm gonna also gonna have a little bit painting around a little bit of this color so make it feel like there is something connected over there. Maybe I'm gonna have a little bit pink color a little bit later. Okay, here you go. Now painting around the bird. Now the bird, it become a nice shape. Okay, here you go. Uh, there's some little bit green color in the background. We maybe pick it up and maybe ignore it. Now take a look again. And now you see if you focus on the large relationship, the large relationship would improve. Okay. If you focus on the small area and you're gonna make the small area isolate from the large shape. Okay, here you go. And then coming down here. Okay, I'm gonna have a little shape coming through on the top over here too. I'm gonna have a little bit on this side. So echo the left side and the right side. Okay, when we get to this point, it looks pretty good, pretty cool. Now I'm gonna add the bottom over here. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow. Okay, take a look at, I'm gonna have a little bit yellow even though the reference doesn't look that way. So I'm gonna have breaking a little bit the shape. And that's good. Like that, have a little breaking the shape over here. And now I'm gonna, eh, why don't I make a little green color, okay. And take a little bit blue and a little yellow together. And here you go. Now I'm gonna paint right under over here. 
and here you go. Now I'm gonna create a uh, suggestions, the back shoulder of the girl. Okay, like that. And maybe a little bit too dark, but I think this will be fine. I'm gonna use some darker color. Many, many people that they use black in the painting process. We try to uh, use less color. And there's only the three primary colors. I'm gonna just use the blue and the red together. I'm gonna show you how dark that color can become. Okay. Okay, that's good, right there. And I'm gonna use this color and coming back over here. Here you go. That's need to be darker behind the ear. Okay, that's good. Right there, tap on it. And then come back over here to use this color, make it even darker on top of the hair. I'm gonna have this a little bit darker too, like that. That will be fine. Now the whole painting composition's already settled, okay? It's already created the dark and light area. And this is more important than try to finish an eye because the eye is so easy to do. And but create the connection and the balance is most, most important. Okay, like that, I'm gonna have that coming a little bit shape, coming over like this, and here you go. And, all right, and Next thing we're gonna do, we are going to create some smaller shape on the face. Okay, uh, the face is still waiting for it to dry. In that case, I'm going to actually soften some of the texture. So I'm gonna come back with this uh, flat brush. I'm gonna just use this, soften it, and that's texture on the forehead. Okay, here you go. I'm gonna make it look a little bit softer. Okay, less texture, it will look softer. Okay, and the nose over here in the tip, I'm gonna soften it, don't worry. After a few minutes later, it will uh, dry and then we're ready. Now I'm gonna take a look at the cheek over here, I'm gonna soften that a little bit. The paper I haven't mentioned, I mentioned, the paper I'm using is Archist uh, cold press watercolor paper is 100% cotton, so very good quality, and it's 140 pounds. Okay, you see that? Very soft on the cheek. Okay, I'm gonna soften that too. Okay, this is why these two brushes connect together. Uh, the quick view brush taking care of the details, and the one inch flat brush taking care of the interaction between shapes. Okay, that's good, a lot better. Okay, we're gonna come back in a bit. Now I'm going to spend the time in painting on the bird. How about, let's set a little interesting color to the bird first. Now I'm gonna get a little bit yellow color. Any color over here is gonna be useful. Okay, I'm gonna have the yellow over here and have a little bit red. Now it become the uh, orange color, right? The warm orange color. And here you go. Now, this is good. I don't need the color so thick. I'm gonna just put that right over here. But a little bit careful. We don't want it to be that dark. I want the boat to look a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna use the water to soften that a little bit. Okay, here you go. A little bit more red. Make it a little bit brighter. Okay, here we go. That's good. Now I'm painting the edge. Okay, if you want the bird look a little bit subtle, not really standing out too much, you need to make sure the edge between the bird and the background is very close. Okay, I'm gonna come into the inside over here and come a little bit inside over here. And this is good. I'm gonna come in down over here. Also seeing the light side and the shadow in the bird, okay? Not just seeing the shape of the bird. Now this is good. Now I'm gonna just use the dry brush, the clean brush, not dry, the clean brush, 
Now moving out, make it softer. This is good. This is the first round. Okay. So this is not just a portrait of the girl, portrait of the bird at the same time. Okay, interesting. We do two at the same time. Okay, that's good. A very soft. Okay, now I'm gonna we're gonna add a little gray color over there. You may not see the gray, you maybe see white, but it's just gray. And uh, the brush is never dry. My brush never dry. If someone just asked, is the brush dry? The brush is not really, really wet, but it's never dry. Okay, so always have the wet brush. Okay, that's good. Coming over here, take a little color here on this side. How much color do you need in your brush? That is a skill that we all should have. You, you already know that like a, between, before you start making the color, you know how much, how wet is the paint that you need. Okay, you have to start calculating, think about it before you, you think about, oh, how much do I need? How wet do I want? So in that case, how much water do you need to take? from the water, from the water container. Okay, here you go. Okay, that's good. Now the boat is all have the foundation color. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come back to the face. Okay, before we go into the eye, we must go with their, um, the form, we have to create a form. Take a look at the forehead. This side a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. Going inside this a little bit darker, in the middle of a little bit lighter, right? Before we create the, the forehead, uh, the hair on the forehead, we have to create that, the form of the forehead. That's very important. Now I'm gonna take a look, I'm gonna get a little bit red color. Just take a look over here, this is good. All I need to think about is this, what color, what else I need to add to here. That's a little bit more red. This is good. And take a look on this side. The same color over here. Now here we go. Coming in over here. Now with this simple addition, now I create the illusion of the forehead. A little bit turning, right? It's very crucial. Very important to knowing what you want and then go for it, to find it. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look at coming down over here around the eye, and we're not painting the, the eye lines or the eyebrows yet. And we take a look at that, it's a little bit gray inside over there. And take a look at that, that's a little bit more blue, it will take a little bit more gray. I'm gonna put that right here, and like this. And take a look at inside over here, also the same color. Okay, that's good. And that's good, right coming down here. All right, and now I'm gonna clean my brush. Now I'm gonna soften that. Okay, I can remove some of the color. And the inside over here, a little bit softer, and also merge into the light red color. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna come in over on this side. Yeah, that's good, like that, a little bit softer. And take a look at over here. That's good. Now I'm gonna have that little bit brown. And coming down, continue. And we create the form of this area. That's good. And then now immediately you see that is is this whole shape over here is look more as changing. That's good. And I'm going to soften that a little bit. You see this brush make it, make it really accurate. I'm going to take a look if we have the address. And right on the top. And right here. You can see that little tiny, tiny line. 
And if you have questions about where I can find the brushes, that's just the page. Okay, now I'm going to continue having that a little brown color coming down and coming all the way to the nose. And see that the whole nose is actually in the uh, shadow side. Okay, here you go. Go around and under. Okay, at the bottom have a little bit more blue. So in your mind, you're always thinking about the three colors because they are, every color we make out from the three primary colors, which is the red, yellow, and the blue color. I'm gonna have that a little bit over here. Okay, don't rush, don't skip. One thing at a time, always start from large to small. And now on the top of the nose, I want something a little bit brighter, just a little bit orange color. I'm gonna take a little yellow color and maybe that's too much, so I'm gonna clean my brush. And just a little bit yellow, a little red, that's just good. That is very, very clean and bright orange color. I'm gonna put that right over there. That's good. All right, I'm gonna to come to on this side of the eye. That color coming down over here too. Okay, that's good. All right, now the nose looks pretty good. I'm gonna soften a little bit over here. And inside over here, so not really that light. So I'm gonna have a little bit, a little bit, turn it down a little bit. Okay, it don't need to be so light, so much contrast. Okay, that's good. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look on this side, soften that a little bit. And now the nose is, is pop. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more lighter color, a little bit of red, and those, I just take the red, okay? I did not mix it. And just take a look on this side. And take a look at the edge over here. That's good. Coming, that's good. Right over here, and the lower eyelid. Okay, now the face a little bit turn, and we can move that a little bit softer coming up. I'm going to add a little bit more red. Okay, ooh, that's too much red. You can see that? That's too much red. So clean the brush. Just take a little. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to just put it right on the cheek. Okay, right over here. That's good. Because I want that, I have a little bit more red. And at the same time, I'm gonna walk into this side. Okay, I'm gonna get a, mix a little yellow coming down over here. Okay, now it's just good. I have a little bit more like brown and even a little bit more blue. I'm gonna take a little bit more blue and the color look a little bit gray. Now I'm gonna put that right here. See that? Yeah, no rush. Take a look at that. That's good. Okay, now. We make a little bit soft, soft form. I'm gonna soften that a little bit, coming up. Okay, that's good. And the top over here also have a little bit more. Uh, is that's come up a little bit too much. So I'm gonna have a little bit red color. And I'm gonna soften that a little bit so that the highlight it won't be so, so much. So here you go. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'll take a look at and the mouth over here. Uh, we are continuing creating the form, which is very, very important and for the success of a portrait painting. Okay, here you go. And take a look at that on this side, like this, and that can come down all the way. You may not really see it. It actually comes down all the way over here and get a little bit brownish color, a little bit warmer. Coming down over here and take a look. And right at the bottom is going to, I'm gonna have a little bit softer over here and a little bit softer up over here. You can see that? 
that's a little bit softer yeah this is good I'm gonna have a little bit of brown color okay a little bit brown and take a look at right here coming in okay here you go like that and create that in the middle have a little bit lighter right so I'm gonna have a little bit softer coming in and that's good like that a bit softer okay now take a look at coming down here continue at the bottom have a little bit warmer I'm gonna get a little bit red right when you think about warmer that means a little bit more red uh, take a look at right at the bottom here here you go you see this is the shadow side and coming up over here coming up and here you go like that that's good that's good like that now I'm going to clean the brush uh, here we go now I'm gonna create a transition a little bit soft just used uh, you may be thinking about oh is that a dry brush no never a dry brush again okay because the brush dry it doesn't move the color it doesn't action it doesn't create any effect so you got to have a wet brush based on how wet it will be and that is by your judgment okay okay now I'm gonna coming up now the the chin is good now I'm gonna get a little bit red okay a little bit okay that's good a little bit brownish I'm gonna take a look at that and this actually connect that to this side and that's good a little by little okay here you go this uh, this painting is not big this is why I I don't really need a, a too big a brush so this calligraphy brush is just the right size I'm gonna take a little bit brownish I'm gonna have this a little bit softer like that coming in and here you go now take a look I'm gonna soften that a little bit just the clean brush but not dry okay make sure you know it's not dry it's just clean just the water to clean it okay that's good now I'm going to screen my eye I'm going to see the difference I'm going to take a look at have a little red coming into this brown color okay this is good now look at how I render how I use this brush this brush is, has a lot of soft hair so I'm gonna have that the tip coming in facing the outside okay coming up over here and you can see have a nice transition on the face on the cheek okay the same thing over here that's good okay now wow it's getting there it's exciting um, now I'm gonna have a little bit softer here also get a little bit red because on the on the cheeks always look a little bit more warmer but use your judgment okay it's not always the case depends on the subject in your painting and some have a little bit more red some have a little bit more yellow okay that's good like that so this is good the ear can be even darker so I'm gonna actually come in have a little bit of brown color now here you go I'm gonna make that a little bit darker okay and the outside a little bit darker and actually the whole thing can be darker except a couple places light now I'm gonna have this shape this is why I don't really need to draw out all the details when I get to here I know I can find it okay now I'm gonna draw a little shape coming down over here that's good and this can be a little bit darker away oh, that's good that's good like that I'm gonna keep that over there for now and now I'm gonna come back to take a look at uh, take a look at the neck over here I'm gonna actually set a little color and have a little bit warmer which is a little bit red and if that too warm too much red get a little yellow now that's the brown color and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna set this color in here that's just to catch the shadow here you go coming down here that's good like that and a little bit softer a little bit lighter color like that now what I'm gonna do 
I'm just use the wet brush lead the color in that's as good also I'm gonna use the brush has no paint lead the color in make it a little bit softer okay what a color has its own unique techniques that our other medium may not have now I'm gonna have a little bit more purplish color how can we get that let's just get the red okay have a little bit blue okay if you have a little bit uh, red shade blue color even better okay now I'm gonna take this color and I'm gonna put that over here okay not really much purple and but I need to be a little bit a little bit dimmer okay here we go I'm gonna have that a little corner and coming down right over here that's good that's good like that and I'm gonna have that a little bit fold and also can make a little bit lighter color here on this side okay here you go like that that's good I can now the the shirt's almost done right and we can paint a little bit flower on top of that later now we're gonna work into the shadow side of the shoulder okay here you go like that okay coming up over here here you go this side so if you don't have the shadow it doesn't appear to be rounded right that's as good like that and then I'm gonna have some really really simple line here you go maybe a little bit red take a little red okay that's good now have a little line from the top over here coming down that's good like that also a little bit dark color on the edge over here maybe darker though okay that's good like that now the arms there and the things in 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 place this is good now i come back to the face now the forehead already around it now i'm going to use a dry brush taking care of the hair on the forehead okay um, I'm gonna take a look what color is it it's a warm brown color get a little bit red that's as good and this is the right color okay now I'm gonna use let go some of the wet like that that's good a little dry but not really dry okay just not as much are uh, the the wet open up a little bit here we go now take a look at and from the top over here coming down okay I'm going down over here moving this way oh look at that ooh, 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 pretty good right as anyone say yay and coming over here and look analyze it and then paint it okay that's good nice a little bit coming over here like that a little bit small here okay that's good like that I think it can come down a little bit more okay here we go okay here we go like that okay come a little bit more like that okay when this is thicker it will appear to be a little bit darker okay here we go like that that's good okay I think that some suggestions for the hair that's pretty cool now I'm gonna get a little bit darker just a little bit darker like that have a little bit that it must be Joe how are you Joe okay and have a little bit green okay here you go the green actually have yellow and blue right because that's how it created because there's no green color here so that's good now I'm gonna have something over here to take a look fine tune a little bit that's good I have fine tune a little here like that okay have a little bit here fine tune it and I'm going to 
come back. Okay, here you go. Have a little big shape. That's good. Now take a look at the side button. Here you go, like that. Side button. Yeah, and coming down over here. That's good. And now at the same time, I'm gonna paint a little bit detail in the ear. That's good, like that. Here you go. It's always layer over layer and step by step. Okay, that's good. Like that and like this. Now the ear looks is pretty good. And now come take a look at the side. The side bone can be a little bit softer. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to uh, bring those those color up, make it a little bit softer. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna this brush a little bit dry now. It just removes the excess uh, wet. Now here you go. Now the hair a little bit more realistic. I'm gonna take a look at the top over here. I'm gonna have a little bit more. It's just not really all flat just somewhere a little bit darker, somewhere a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna soften there a little bit. Somewhere a little clear, somewhere a little bit blue. So that's good. And I'm also going to create a little illusions of some hair actually outside of the face. How can we do that? That's called lifting. So I'm gonna come back here to use the flat brush. Here you go. Now I'll take a look. Just going to shape it, make that a really, really nice straight line. Okay, now what I want to do, I'm going to just create, have this, the hair coming down over here. See that? That keep the illusions of the hair at the outside the forehead. Okay, that's good. I'm going to keep it a little bit more, a little bit softer, like that. That's good. A little bit softer here. Okay. And then make it even a little bit lighter if I want. It doesn't need to. Okay, like that. I'm gonna have this a little bit lighter too. Okay, that's as good. And I'm also going to make this a little bit lighter if I want to. So you see how these two brushes working together, we don't need more. And unless you use uh, for a different size of painting. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have this add a little bit lifting over here too. It's gonna create a little texture because the middle over here has a little highlight. Okay, here you go. Okay. Light it up a little bit. I can even light it up like this way. Okay, that's good. Okay, now the hair and the forehead. It's pretty cool. Yeah, make it a little bit softer. All right, now I'm gonna just come back to give it a very, very tiny, tiny view here. Okay, I don't really need it to be, to be that thick or dark, just a little bit, a little bit. Okay, here you go. Here you go, I'm gonna have a little hair here. Here, like that. A little few hair. Like that, that's good. And a little hair on the top over here. Okay, that's good. Over here, a little bit darker. Okay, like that, a little bit darker. And seeing that the shadow over here, a little bit darker. Just be patient, okay? You can do it. If you have the patience, you can learn. Okay, that's what's good. And there's a little wet over here. And all right, I think the nose looks good and the eye, now I'm gonna set a little color inside the eye. Uh, inside the eye is not really, really white. A little blue color, a little gray, a little blue. I'm gonna set a little bit blue. Okay, not really that dark, so here you go, take a little bit blue color, here you go, and the bottom over here, it's a little bit blue, 
the top have a little bit highlight. So here you go. Just ping around that. Okay, here you go. That's good. On the right side is the shadow side. It can be a little bit darker. So I'm going to have a little bit darker color right here. You can ping it like that. So this light is dark. Right, that's is good. Now, next I'm going to do the other side. Okay, a little bit blue. Take a look. And right here. Like that. Look for it when it's ready. Okay, that's good. And and outside over here, have a little bit gray. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit brown, brownish. Okay, take a look at outside over here. That's good. Like that. Okay. Now the eye, uh, we are to prepare uh, for the next step. After this drive, and also inside over here, we can see a little bit darker. Inside over here, the corner, and here you go. A little bit, like that. Also, we can paint a little bit in, inside the area. Up there, iris. That's good. That's good, like that. And we can prepare that painting in a little bit. And here you go. I can paint a little bit highlight. The highlight actually moving a little bit more to the left. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's a little highlight right over there. That's good, like that. That's just the preparation. Also on this side, all right, I'm going to have the color even a little bit darker. Okay, here you go. And take a look at the top over here. Take a look at that. That's the catch to shadow. That's a catch to shadow right under. Okay, right there. That's good. Now take a look. A little bit darker like that. No worry, we're not actually one step to finish the eye. I think that to prepare to a little practice. Okay, here you go. That's good. And a little highlight right over there. You see, if you can, paint around the highlight. That's good. Like that. Okay. That's just good. That's just a little practice. Okay, a little bit later, we can come with even darker color to finish that. Okay, all right. I'm gonna see a little bit shadow, the catch the shadow right on this side. Okay, we also can do a little bit over here too. See a little shadow. Take a look at the shape of the iris. That's good. Right there. That's good that. Okay, darker color come a little bit later. Now I'm going to have the line really, really small. Now take a look over here. It has a little eyelashes. Okay, here you go. Okay, like that. That's good. And coming over here. That's good. Like that. All right, I'm going to have a little red color at the corner. Okay. I'm going to set a little color for the eyebrows. The eyebrows right here. It's just very light brown color. Okay, here you go. Like that. That's good. I can soften that a little bit. Okay, a little of the eyebrows like that. And then coming over here, hi. Another question, yeah. <laughs> okay, look at the top address. This is very economic brushes for everyone. And if you live in the US and Canada, 
you can order those brushes. But if you live outside of these two countries, they're only open to members. If members need the brushes, even you live outside of the North America, just let me know and we can try to deliver that to you. A little bit harder, um, also the risk of lose the brushes on the way because it's just not easy. Uh, okay, this is good. But if you have any questions, take a look, okay? Talk to me. All right, the eye, we're already done in that preparation. Now I'm gonna come down to the nose. And the shadow side, it need to be even darker. So that means over here also need to be a little bit darker too. So we'll take a look at a little bit deeper color right here. Here you go. Now just put that over there. This is good. And make a, the form is most important. Okay. If you don't get the form correctly, the likeness, the light, the likeness is never going to happen to you. Okay. That's good. And take a look at the shape. That's very good. Uh, Oh, this is the proportion. If if how you uh, separate you know, the feature of a child compared to a little bit older age, uh, a little child has a little bit more difference in the proportion and structure. And we're gonna talk more about that inside the community. And we're gonna have more uh, member challenges uh, for the future and last year we did a very successful called portrait challenge and we're probably going to do it again after the summer and okay that's good and of course a short video we're going to share with the public uh, but if you want to have the interactive learning experience with us okay you should be joining us Okay, that's good, right, and, okay, the bottom have a little bit blue. Uh, you need to train your eye, and the tricky thing is the watercolor, and dry it fast. So sometimes, you know, I cannot see it, I, it already dries, and I cannot see it, but it's just not let me to wait for me. In that case, we have our training on uh, with the uh, oil painting as well. And that would allow you to understand the color and theory. And we're using exactly the same color uh, theory as across all medium. So if you know how to use uh, the oil, you'll be able to do that with uh, watercolor as well. So it's up to you. And Okay, that's good, like that. I don't want to keep talking you in and say, oh, become a member. But you need to make sure that you are, you be happy with us. Are we happy with your decision of joining, okay? So if you don't, uh, it, you don't have to become uh, one of us. Okay, here you go. Now, this is good. Now the nose, very, 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 very three-dimensional. Now I'm gonna take a look at on the lips. Now I'm gonna just get the red color, okay? Take a look. I'm gonna just start from lighter. I'm gonna take a look at here. Here you go. Now I'm gonna shade it, just the red. Okay, that's good. Look again. What's the shape? Here you go. On this side, I need to be darker. Right, let's play this color first. That's good. And then take a look at down here. Okay, take a look at right here. That's good. And then the lower lip. Now I'm gonna painting around the highlight. Okay, just here you go. I'm gonna have that. Okay, that's good. 
Now on the other side, I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Okay, how to make it darker? I'm just add a little blue color to it. Okay, so now it's a little bit darker. I have a little blue over here. Now here we go. Now I can make the lip looks like a toning. Okay, that's good. Okay, wonderful. Okay, now is the smiley. But again, and we probably still going to make a little bit more fine tuning around the shape, around the mouth. Okay, and so we come back a little bit later. But it looks like the girl, but again, too much contrast. So that means the outside over here need to be darker. Right, okay, we come back. So it's how we analyze things. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have a little bit color over here. So a little bit turning, that's good, like that. A little bit too much, soften that a little bit. Hey, that's good. Okay, I'm gonna come back to, uh, time to go to the neck, okay. And that's good, the good, the good timing. So I'm going to take a look at what color, and the blue and the red and the yellow, as always, right? Get a little bit more yellow, have a little bit more. This is good, I'm gonna take a look Take a look at this color. I'm gonna take a look at from here all the way coming up. Take a look at that. It's good. That's good. Coming in a little bit. Oh, that's good. Now you see the value. The value difference create the form. Take a look. Continue coming up over there. This is great. Now you can see that ah. It looked like a girl, okay? It looked like a girl long ago. You have to have the picture in your mind before you actually start painting. Okay, there you go. Okay, like that. All right, now I'm gonna come back over here to soften that, but when you're coming down over here, okay, coming down over here, okay, the color change. Have a little bit more uh, greenish. I'm gonna actually get the greenish. That means you have a little bit more yellow and the blue color. Okay, that's what that means. Okay, in the three color, right? I'm gonna have a little bit more of this. That's good, like that. And we we'll also have a little color one over here. I'm gonna create that over there. And as well as on this side. Okay, that's good. Soften that a little bit. Okay, that's good. Soften that a little. Now, I'm gonna make that a little bit softer. Over here, I'm gonna make this a little bit lighter too. Oh, this is good, that beautiful neck. Okay, I know that over here is the contrast a little bit too much. So after the next drive, I'll come back to give a little bit darker on inside the face and that will be easy. Now I'm gonna continue do something else. Okay, I'll come back a little bit later. Not the right timing. Okay, over there, that's good. And a little bit darker over here. Okay, that's good. I'm going to um, take a look. And this is good. I like that being soft on the outside. And maybe at this time, let's just get a little red color and just put it right here. Like that. Oh, that's good. Not more, not less. That's just good. A little bit over here too. Like that. Maybe that's too bright. Okay, here you go. That's good. Now it's just a good time to come back to um, the eye. Maybe. Let's do a little bit of the cheek. How about that? And we're waiting for, hey, we don't want to forget the cheek. And the little, little bird on the shoulder. Let's take a look. Get a little red, a little red, a little brighter orange color. And right here. Look at that, okay. Okay, okay, look at that. This is good. Now I'm gonna come to the mouth. Yeah, here you go. Like that, you can see a little highlight. That's a little good. Beautiful. Uh, like that, 
and now I'm gonna have a little bit brown see a little bit a little bit shadow over here that's good and we can soften that a little bit more on the outside if we want to okay make that a little bit darker over here that's good like that on the edge make that a little bit softer and a little bit over here that's good and a little bit over here that's good now it's the time to set a little gray color let's get a little bit brownish a little bit green that's good. good that's the good color very great oh this is yellow blue and red right so i'm gonna have a little bit more brown mix into it let's take a look look at that that's just great and this is the shadow side of the face okay that's good and this side a little bit more shadow side okay that's good oh that's good at the bottom have a little bit brownish that's good and right at the bottom over here we're gonna have a little bit orange hmm nice a little bit orange a little bit soft light color with the orange that's very good now take a look on the left side of the face now also see a little bit light orange color like that good you see you don't have to try to finish the whole thing at the beginning okay and don't panic if something doesn't come out the way you want it this calligraphy brush also can do a little subtle light lifting okay that's good like that and make it feel more like oh the fur here you go that's good like that all right come back to the world a little bit later time to do the eye okay and we already have the dark color we just need to use the same dark color have a little bit brownish into it and maybe i want it to be thicker so i'm going to mix the color again not as much water if you want to just get a little bit blue into it take a look at inside of her eye okay, so what color is it a little bit more like a brownish color okay a little bit more a little bit more red a little bit more yellow a bit or a little bit blue the blue will just have the yellow and the blue color okay a little bit blue and that's it just good like that all right now i'm going to start painting the eye line okay take a look at the left side uh -huh. look at that eyelashes this has the eyelashes okay that's good okay that's good okay coming in here now take a look take a look the iris it actually have a little bit more like a brown color so let's paint the dark color first and then turn it into a little bit lighter brown color okay and then the middle there's a pupil pupil quite dark okay here you go like that a little bit at a time okay and moving that in a little bit shrink a little bit that's good uh, on this side like that that's good that's come up a little bit right here that's good okay now this is good i take a look at the bottom the whole iris is rounded okay take a look at the the edge over here it's good coming in a little bit that's very good we're gonna throw a little bit brown color into it and in a minute so I take a look on this side 
and have a little bit thin dark line let's take a look also the top have a little bit shadow so the iris the the whole highlight it won't be at the top okay because of blocking and make it a little bit higher like that okay a little bit more that's good and uh, take a look take a look right here I'm gonna keep the highlight right there that's good okay Take a look at the shape, the iris. That's good. I take a look at compare the left eye and the right eye. Actually, one a little bit bigger, one a little bit smaller, the iris. So now I'm gonna come here to make it expand it. It's easier to make it bigger. That's good. And a little line on this side. That's good, like that. Okay, let's take a look. Can be a little bit lower. Coming through over here, that's good. Coming up. Okay, that's good. Now it's successful. Now on this side, have a little bit darker line, like that. Now I'm gonna have a little bit warm color. Have a little bit red, okay. And here you go. The corner of the eye, a little bit more red. Okay, that's good. even more red okay like that that's good here you go a little bit darker like that that's great okay also in here that's all did good okay we don't need to do too much okay now I'm gonna paint the little eye line and the little eye line have like a little brown color. Okay, right here. Okay, here we go. And right here, that's good. Have a little bit line, go all the way, all the way to the other side. That's good. Okay, there's a little bit coming over here. Take a look on the other side. Okay, here, right here. That's good, like that. I think this is very good for the eye. Now take a look at the lower eyelid. And have a little bit shadow. Okay, here we go. A little bit shadow over here. Like that, those are easy to do. Yeah, on this side, the whole side over here, a little bit more shadow. Okay, the same thing over here. And a little bit warmer on the light side. Okay, here we go. A little bit shadow. So you create the feeling of the roundness of the eye. There's an eyeball underneath. Okay, now I'm gonna soften that on this side. Perfect! And you know what? I actually intentionally left some of the ear on the outside. I'm just going to use this showing you how to lift it up. Okay, here we go. So create a feeling of a soft ear in the, in the outside. Okay, that's good. That's good, like that. That is good enough suggestions. Now take a look at, now take a look at the the mouth. Okay, here we go. Okay, take a look at here. And 
this side a little bit more shadow and also the top over here a little bit more darker because the shadow okay that's good and we're gonna do the line in between the two uh, two lips and that will be good okay right here a little bit softer and now the other side I'm gonna have a little bit brown a little bit greenish brown color actually this is the color I'm gonna have that softer connect that see that now it's a little bit closer now perfect coming down and softer coming over and at the bottom a little bit more red okay here you go a little bit more red over here here you go like that here you go now the same thing same time going to that inside over here to make it a little bit closer value i'm gonna get that now we are coming to the final touch here you go i'm gonna have that a little bit darker to connect that to the shadow perfect now connect that over like that okay that's good gonna have that a little bit softer okay now over here i'm gonna soften that a little bit i don't want that to be so sharp okay now the put the portrait looks pretty good already now I'll take a look at the cheek i'm gonna have a little bit a little bit brown and a little bit brown right under here and we actually have the little leg and also a little bit red and I'm gonna use this color actually for the eye okay here you go here you go that's good a little bit dot that's good a little bit more red for the mouth okay that's good the corner of the mouth like that and now I'm gonna draw a little bit red color not much a little bit red color and for that here you go that's just a little lick all right now i'm going to do the last thing that's just the necklace now i'll take a look at there's a little bit light brown color okay here you go a little bit light that's look like a gold okay here you go look again it's a little bit thicker over here looks like okay coming up over here that's good okay that's good and we give a little definitions to the earring i'm gonna get you see that everything has its own uh time okay a little bit over here that's good right and we're gonna have a couple of white line we can create the illusion of the shininess so i'm going to use this uh, white paint i will put the informations of the materials and in the video description when you come back so this is great and now on this side I'm gonna make it a little bit darker on this side because the shadow side the shirt now I'm gonna add a little bit green color a very little green color and put a little dark over here like that okay here we go Like that, it's a little thing. Okay. And going into the background can be a little bit softer and blue. Okay. Like that, and here we go. And it looks pretty good. I'm gonna have a little bit softer, a little bit lighter. And on this side. There we go. Okay. 
that and uh, let's see is anything else we need to add to this painting and call it finish hmm I know there's a one two things and that would be the mouth we need the line in between so take a look at what color is it okay make a little bit thinner a little bit sharper that's good look at that the corner okay that's good coming over here Now look at that, look at the angle of the line. A little bit higher. All the way to the corner. That's good. And take a look at. Okay, that's nice smiling. Now where's this the nose? Okay, that's the nostril. That's not the nostril. This is good. And with the time limit. And we have a member meeting coming up. So I'm going to call this painting demonstration finish. <laughs>